Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at the lovely Lepidolite. So we're going to take a look at its formation deep in the earth to its amazing history and the kind of cosmic connection and associations that it has. So sit back, relax and let's get going. So lapidolite is a potassium lithium silicate mineral that typically forms in granite. So the formation of lapidolite involves complex geological processes and it often occurs in association with lots of other minerals that are also in these unique environments as well. So this is basically a breakdown of how lapidolite is formed. So as I said, it's commonly found in pegmatites, which are a coarse grained igneous rocks. Pegmatites have larger crystals than typical igneous rocks, and they often form in the late stages of the crystallization of granitic melt. So the formation process begins with the intrusion of magma into the Earth's crust. As the magma cools and solidifies, it forms granite rocks. So pegmatites are specific types of granite that have exceptionally large crystals, and they often contain rare minerals because of their late stage crystallization. During the final stages of pegmatite formation, pockets of fluids and gases can get trapped within these crystallizing rocks. So these fluids could contain a variety of dissolved elements and compounds alike. Within these fluid rich pockets, certain elements like lithium, potassium, aluminium and silicon become really, really concentrated. The availability of these elements is crucial to the formation of lapidolite. So lapidolite forms through the crystallization process of these very concentrated elements. The mineral typically occurs in the form of thin sheet-like crystals and its characteristic kind of lavendery color is often due to the presence of trace amounts of manganese. Lapidolite belongs to the mica or mica group of minerals, which also includes muscovite and biotite. Like other micas, lapidolite has a layered structure and its composition includes aluminium, potassium, lithium and oxygen, basically arranged in like sheets. So the iridescent effect that you can see in some lapidolite specimens is often attributed to the presence of microscopic inclusions or impurities as well. So these inclusions can create interfering patterns that result in lots of different kind of colors, giving lapidolite its distinctive visual appeal. So to summarize, lapidolite forms in the later stages of pegmatite formation, where specific geological conditions, including the concentration of lithium, potassium, and aluminium, contribute to its unique crystal structure and vibrant color. So next up is the history and lore. So lapidolite does have a quite a rich history and lore that dates back centuries. So let's take a look at this now. In ancient Egypt, mica, which included lapidolite, was used for ornamental purposes and in cosmetics. This reflective quality made it an appealing addition to things like eye makeup. So it was discovered by a Swedish chemist whose name I will insert here because I don't want to butcher it. <laughs> so this was discovered in 1817 and subsequent research revealed that lapidolite also contained lithium. So the name lapidolite is derived from Greek word lepidos, meaning scale because of its scaly appearance, as you can see here. So in the late 19th century and earliest 20th centuries, lapidolite gained industrial importance because of this lithium content. Lithium is obviously a key component in things like batteries and was extracted from lapidolite and other minerals to meet the growing demand for batteries in lots of different industries. Lapidolite has been associated with metaphysical and spiritual properties for a long time. Its energy is actually very calming and soothing, which does associate to its lavender color. It is often used in crystal healing and energy work to alleviate stress and anxiety and promote a sense of calmness as well. In metaphysical traditions, lapidolite is sometimes considered a stone of psychic protection. It's believed to create a shield that can ward off negative energies and influences, making it a really popular choice for people who are seeking that kind of spiritual and energetic protection and solace. Touching on the astrological side of things, lapidolite is associated with the zodiac sign Libra. We will go into more details on this in a minute, but obviously Libras are known for, for seeking harmony and balance in their life, which is why lapidolite would be a great tool for them to use. In terms of the chakras, 
Lipidolite is linked to the higher chakras, particularly the third eye and the crown chakra, because again, it is linked to this, this spiritual awareness and enhancing your own intuition. These all link very well together. Some practitioners view Lipidolite as a stone with mystical properties, capable of facilitating things like astral projection, dream work, and communication with your spirit guides. Its connection to higher realms and ethereal energies adds to its allure in esoteric practices. Lipidolite is believed to possess a range of healing properties, both in the realms of physical well-being and emotional balance. So here are some commonly ascribed healing properties of Lipidolite. So this crystal is renowned for its calming energy, making it a really popular choice for people who are looking for relief from things like stress, anxiety, and if you've got a lot of tension in your life at the moment. It produces very gentle vibrations that are believed to soothe the mind and to promote a sense of tranquility. The soothing energy of Lipidolite is thought to assist in balancing emotions. It could be used to help with any mood swings or emotional imbalances that you may struggle with. Lots of people use Lipidolite as a support during challenging and particularly emotional periods as well. It is often associated with promoting restful sleep. So you could put Lipidolite under a pillow or perhaps put it on your bedside table and it's believed to help calm the mind and create a conducive environment for a peaceful night's sleep. Calming influence of Lipidolite is thought to be beneficial for those dealing with anxiety and depression. So it could help so it can help provide a sense of emotional stability and helping to reduce symptoms associated with these conditions. Lipidolite is believed to enhance mindfulness and awareness. Its energy could encourage individuals to stay present in the moment and therefore create a deeper connection to your own thoughts and inner emotions. For those of us who are on a very spiritual journey, Lipidolite is thought to be a supportive companion. Its energy could assist in opening the mind to higher consciousness aiding in spiritual growth and facilitating inner exploration. Some people also use Lipidolite for energetic protection. It's believed to create a shield that basically guards against any negative energies that could come your way, making it a really valuable tool for people who do engage in things like energy work, like Reiki and other spiritual practices like this. So it is also great to work with if you are looking into astral travel and you want to do a bit more dream work. So it could be used um, if you're looking into lucid dreaming or seeking guidance on perhaps remembering your dreams best or interacting with your dreams more. Lipidolite is commonly associated with the zodiac sign Libra. So Libras are born between September the 23rd and October the 22nd. They're traditionally represented by the symbol of the scales, emphasizing their focus on balance, harmony, and justice. So this is where Lipidolite's gentle and harmonizing energy is thought to align well with these characteristics and preferences of Libras. Of course, the usual caveat here, uh, whilst Lipidolite is great for Libras, it can also work with you know, all the other zodiac signs as well. If it resonates with you and you feel drawn to that particular crystal at that particular time, then of course you can go and work with it. Now we're gonna move on to the chakras. So Lipidolite is primarily associated with the higher chakras, as we said, so the third eye and the crown chakra. So first off, we're gonna be looking at the third eye chakra. Now, this one is pretty self-explanatory. I'm sure you know where that is. Um, again, it's in the middle of the forehead between your eyebrows. So it is associated with intuition, perception, and spiritual insight. Lipidolite's energy is thought to stimulate and activate the third eye chakra, enhancing your ability to access your inner wisdom and trust intuitive guidance and perceptive subtle energies. It's a great choice for people looking to deepen their spiritual awareness and psychic abilities. The crown chakra, which as we all know again is at the top of the head, is associated with a deeper, like a really, really deep spiritual connection and enlightenment as well. And kind of understanding the universal truths of the wider universe. So Lipidolite is believed to open and activate this chakra. And again, to connect you to higher states of consciousness and the further spiritual realms, if that's something you believe in. This alignment could contribute to a sense of openness, spiritual growth, and a deeper understanding of your own spiritual path. 
So there we have it, everything there is to know about Lepidolite. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, please don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more crystal videos coming every week. I've not really mentioned it yet, but I do have two beautiful specimens of Lepidolite here. And in this one, you can see really well. I mean, I'm not sure if the camera will focus, but you can kind of see the different layers here, which is really, really interesting. And it is definitely quite scaly as you can see in in this specimen here so yeah this is a really really beautiful crystal um this one almost looks bubbly as well it looks like bubbles that have kind of been frozen to me um but yeah i love this crystal i've had this one for quite a few years now and i do enjoy working with it it's very soothing and very calming it's it really does remind me of lavender i think if you were to meditate perhaps with this crystal and maybe like some lavender incense or lavender essential oils like that would really really help just help soothe you and calm you down that would be a great combination so if you do try that let me know in the comments below um, but it definitely works for me but that is the end of me waffling at the end of this video have a lovely rest of your day stay happy and blessed be